I'm Ringo Machiavelli and this is AFX World. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to clean your cars, um, which you really should do probably, um, oh, probably every three uses, every time you set up three times, it just depends on where you live. See I've got tiles downstairs, but if it's upstairs on the carpet you should really be doing it a little bit often just because carpet lets off dust and everything and it obviously gets in between all the little gears and it will slow down the car and then it's all it's going to do is... Um, well, prolong the use of the, the engine as well. So it's best just to do this, give it a little bit of an oil as well, I like to do that, clean it up and um, yeah, this way they'll always be running efficiently and fast and um, you get a long life out of them. So we're gonna go through the three, which will be the originals, your Mega G and your Mega G Plus, which is my camera car. Um, I've used it a bit now. There isn't much in these two because I haven't used them that much, but there's enough to sort of give you an idea of what we're going to do and um, show you how to clean them. So, for starters, this one's already out of its case, so we'll start with the Mega G Plus and work our way back. So, we'll just put them there. These ones, obviously, you can see already been looked after pretty well, looking pretty clean, no dust in them. They always run really well, so. Um, with the Mega G Plus, the uh, beauty of this, you don't have to do anything to the motor because it's all enclosed. I'd probably suggest just cleaning around the motor, but in general, it's um, that's really a really good benefit to it. So, look, at, you can start whichever way you want. I just like to start with the rear wheels first. So you just pop those rear wheels, just one side. Probably best to do the gear side first. Pull that out, as you can see. This is new, this car, and it's. Um, I've already collected myself a, a lot of dust and little bits, so. This, um, oh, I probably should have said too. What you want to do this, um, it's all the tools you, like, it all depends on what you want to use for your own tools. Um, these are out of a oh, um, replacement um, iPhone um, front cover like when I replace my iPhone cover. So what you need is something that's light it's when you get into little, just so it can get into little places, but it's not gonna damage or put too much pressure on anything. So um, like I've got a, a scalpel here. I wouldn't recommend using a scalpel. It's just because I use the pointy end sometimes just to pry out some of the um, hairs that get stuck in and around the, um, yeah, the wheels there. So I'll probably start with, um, using this little prior, which is a piece of plastic. What you want to do is just sort of pull it away from the gears and you'll pull, you'll see it, it'll pull the, it'll start pulling the hair down, like so. And all this does is, it just makes it easier for you to get in and pull it out with your fingers. Here like this. So what you want to do, just keep doing that. Uh, get in there. Pull down your fingers and see that was <coughs> excuse me that one was actually pretty clean so didn't take too long but just want to make sure that's why it's best to make sure you do this on a clean surface um, and just pull off any excess and as you can see that's clean so what I want to do is move ahead to the rest of the car you can use uh, it all depends you can do this dry I like to use a um, a, a, a bit of alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol, just to um, do this because it sort of it just dries, it evaporates, um, and it's just a good cleaner sort of thing. So, as you can see here, a uh, little iron filaments sort of build up on the magnets. So, you want to go ahead with um, cotton bud, just get in there, just slide 
each side. Okay. Like I said, you don't have to use this. Just be careful when you use cotton buds as well. Um, obviously they go a bit funny at the end, so you gotta watch where all that goes when you've cleaned it. But as you can see, with the alcohol, um, so you dip in one with the alcohol, wash it out, then use the other side to dry it off, and then it'll eventually evaporate. Use your fingers just to pull aside any little bits left over by the cotton bud. Um, and there you have it, that one's pretty good so far. So then you want to go ahead, uh, just make sure your little your gear coming out of your motor um, is working properly. Like there's no build up or anything behind it. Um, so just make sure, you, it's hard to see here, but you want to make sure you just check and see that there's no little bits of um, hair that are wrapped around it. This one actually is, like I said, it's pretty new, so we're not going to get too many dramas. There's no build up of iron filings anywhere else. Um, that's largely due to because the engine's enclosed. With the old ones, the magnets are on the side because it left the magnetic motor, but it was all open, so it would just um, yeah, collect down the sides. Probably um, another good one is to, we might just do this, um, run some rubbing, out. this is why rubbing alcohol is good, just clean the contacts. Make sure they're all right, like so. Check in there, make sure there's no dust and it's pretty much good to go. So what we want to do, pop it back in. Oh, properly. Yep. And that's actually going a lot better. So just want to dab a bit of oil. Push the wheel, so what you want to do is push this side down. A bit of oil around there like that. Put that wheel up, put a bit of oil around there like that, and then do that, and then just let it spin. And that'll collect it and drop it through that hole, make it run a little bit better. And once again, just dab, like I said, it's just a dab, dab of um, oil, dab it in here. So you only want a little bit because too much oil, these things just rotate at thousands of RPM so it's just going to spit the oil everywhere, go all over the track and it'll just be sliding everywhere. It'll get into the motor, could prolong, uh, well, yeah, the mo it just, it's no good for no one. So yeah, just look out for that. So a little bit of oil, just dab it in and voila, Mega G Plus is done. So we'll go down to the Mega G. Um, so what you want to do, taking the cover out, go one side first, pop it out, just let it come out like so. Okay, so. so these ones relatively new as well, so it's got a little bit of build up of um, dust and that there, but similar to the Mega G, but as you can see it's all open, so what we want to do is just make sure there's no iron filings caught up in there anywhere, and then um, just clean any little bits that sort of built up around the side, then he'd just muck. Um, so we'll just go ahead with taking the rear wheels out. So, uh, so, repeat that process again. I'm just dragging that down make sure there's no really build up there Cool. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move along the car. Um, as you can see, you can't even see the magnets. It's got that much of a build up of iron filing. So, once again, we want to go ahead and some rubbing alcohol. Oh, just 
the rubbing alcohol to make sure the um, doesn't allow for like the little strands to come off that easily. They're wet and it just evaporates anyway after it's done. So this one's a little bit harder getting these iron filings out. So just sort of put it on the spot, give it a bit of a twist. And as you can see, a lot cleaner. You just want to make sure you've got no more, none of that. Any strands that have fallen in around the motor, just check in here. So as you can see, this is where these little tweezers come in handy. Oh, a little bit of you know, work. Yeah. Drag out any little bits around the motor. It's actually pretty clean. It's just now when you come into the motor, you don't want to go playing around with this or drying anything too much. So you just want to just clean the contacts up, the rubbing alcohol. Make sure there's collect any dust that's on the side of the cars and it's very new this one so it's not gonna need that much cleaning yet but if you maintain it you don't have to clean them that much see it's very quick and simple so I want to go ahead drop the wheels back in Yep. Bit of oil. Yeah, you always gotta make sure still this can and we'll check your fingers because they do drop. They're good to use these cotton buds, but they can also be your worst enemy too as well. So just bit of oil in there. Yeah, as I said. Yeah, right. Gotta put the wheels in backwards. <laughs> Set that run through. There we go. And boom. She's done. Nice and greased. Can't even, can't even hear that. That's how smooth that is. So, put it back how it came out. One side in. Look the other side over. Put it back on the rack. And Final one. So these are the original like turbo models. So wanna... these ones are the worst cases to get off. I've got to be careful with this one because I'd hate to break it. This one, this number nine car, and this fifty six were donated to me by one of my good mates, Jimmy. And if I broke one, even if we gave him to, he'd kill me because one day he'll want them back, and I want to give that be able to give them back to him in, a, um, in the same condition I gave them to him. He gave them to me. So I'll just take that out. So there we go. So with these ones, uh, this one's actually, this one's pretty dirty. I don't think Jimmy's cleaned this for a while and since I've had it, I haven't cleaned it. So uh, it's pretty good that we're giving this one a clean. So first off, start with dropping the back wheels out. Um, as always, just want to try and get in there and whoa, far out. Whoa, look at that. That one. 
This one is like... <laughs> That's a lot, man. Look at that. Oh. It's crazy. Crazy town. Okay, so this one had a, quite a lot on it. it. Hasn't been cleaned for a while, so that's what happens when you don't clean them for a while. Everything, so gonna get in there. That would have massively been. See, so like I said, it would. I haven't played with this car for a while, but I did notice it was struggling sometimes. Um, I probably th I thought it was down to the contacts, but looking at that, it was obviously that. So sometimes, like when the obviously when the wheels would go around, that would sometimes grab on um, on the gears and um, yeah, lock it up. Uh, that's all right. We got to it. Get this fixed. So much. Yeah, so this is where a scalpel comes in. I've used this one as just not getting these last little bits here. I recommend if you're under the age of 12, I wouldn't recommend using a scalpel without parents' permission. You don't want to slip. Cut yourself. That's unless you're really good with the scalpel sort of thing. I play with knives with kids, but I wouldn't recommend it. So you want to get yourself probably some of this as well, some like tissue or some toilet paper, just because you're going to have a, like this particular one, hopefully you never get to this level, but just there's a lot of build up on it. So you want to just sort of get something that can scrape it off with, gently, it's not going to damage the car. There you have it, all nice and cleaned up. Clean the protective cover. Drop that back in. Um, I think this one's due. I'll probably, um, I'm gonna do another repair video, so I'll do that coming up. But I think this one's due for a um, repair shortly. As you can see, it's just wearing in on the contacts. Uh, so just gonna clean that. That's what we got. Put the back wheels on. It is really good. Bang.
Boom. It's hot to trot. Just want to make sure you clean up everything. And there you have it. It's how you clean your cars. I'm Ringo Machiavelli and this is AFX World.